Welcome. So my name is Simba and I'm the head coach at Living with the Spirits Lifestyle Retreat Center here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. I work as a personal coach, massage therapist, theory provider, I do Reiki healing. Essentially, I like to do everything to heal the body-mind-spirit connection using the body as the primary tool. And what I wanted to share today was a little bit of a move along video or follow along some simple movements that you can do to start your morning end your day or just to move just to get some circulation when i say movement in this occasion i mean it's a mix of uh, stretches dynamic movements you can be static hold meaning you hold something for a period of time to increase some circulation in the area increase some range of motion in the joint so we don't strain our muscles or tear anything up when we go about our days. So keep it light, keep it playful, work at your level. If you have any injuries, always respect them and don't push hard on an already injured body, body part. And essentially, it's all about play. It's all about expressing. It's just like I'm talking now, verbally expressing myself. The movements is about physically expressing yourself. Uh, the Latin word articulatio means joint. And to articulate yourself, to properly pronou uh, pronounce something and to properly say something with a good articulation, essentially it comes from moving your joints in the right manner. So I just want to bring that analogy in because it's just about moving them in their natural position in a playful way and just enjoy from there. So we're gonna start. You can use a yoga mat or if you have a soft floor maybe you don't need a mat, a carpet, a blanket, a couple of towels, a beach, a lawn, you know, what whatever kind of environment you have. And we're just gonna start on lying down. On our back. So if it's hard lying down, just straight down. You can hold on to your knees, behind your knees, and just gently work your way down. We're actually going to start with our hands placed on top of the knees, either from the sides or from above. We're going to massage our lower back. So the legs come together. We're going to do a few circles going towards the right. So I'm going counterclockwise towards the right. About five ten circles. And then we go the other way around. So just don't hold your breath. That's what I'm trying to say. More specific way of breathing here is relax and hold your breath. Next, we're gonna bring the legs apart. Bring the feet apart too. They're gonna meet in the middle, pull up towards your chest, come apart, pull them down towards your feet. And we're gonna do a couple of circles. Now we're working with the hip joints, inside of the thighs and the glutes. And it can also work as a massage for the lower back. So this is a nice way to just gently massage and open up the lower back in the hip area. And now from here, we do the opposite. They pull away a little bit. In this position is easy to feel that the gap between your lower back and the ground can increase. So if you feel that, don't go too far. And too far means not too much towards this direction. Stay, so you can feel the lower back somewhat grounded because that means you're not putting any strain on the lower back muscles, or structures, or uh, spine. And something new, go along the way at this. Down. Around. 
from here we can gently bring our legs all the way down or the feet down to the ground. Arms up to the side, shoulders stay on the ground, that means I'm not rolling over to one side, I keep my shoulders on the ground. Feet parallel to each other and both legs go towards one direction. Whenever you feel a stop, stop can be a stretch here, somewhere on the side of the thighs, the glutes, the lower back area. Stop. And then we gently come up. We do this side to side. This is to open up the whole aspect of your side body, lateral muscles, like the bands, the hip flexors, quads, the front of your body. Just gently go side to side. From here, let's add an inside of the thigh. So I'm just going to open up one leg. I'm going to pull with this leg. This stretch that's going to be created inside my legs is going to be what brings this one all the way over. So I'm very flexible. If this doesn't look the same for you, don't worry. It might not, <laughs> and that's okay. So my soles of my feet come together and I roll all the way over side to side without losing opposite side shoulder, so I want to feel the stretch across my body. For me, let's extend one leg, and this leg now comes it comes close to me and it goes all the way over. I can let go a little bit of the shoulder if I want and keep it down. And then come back and I open up. So I'm working on one hip at a time. The lower back, the other area, and let go gently at this. And come back and down. to open up the hips, the lower back area, especially if you get a sedentary lifestyle, we sit down a lot or we go to the bar or somewhere. And then we do the same thing for the other side. Gently come down. And from here, let's roll over so we are 100% on lying on one side. And I'm gonna bring, I'm lying on my side of my shoulder. This will be my pillow. I'm gonna bring my left leg forward. I'm gonna put back so you can see me properly. So this leg stays straight, on the line leg. The upper leg stays on the ground. We can open up the upper part of our spine. So one hand on the side of your head or just lying like this. I want to keep this knee on the ground and I'm going to rotate out gently and slowly, respect the stop, the next step, and then gently come back. This is to open up the spine and the spine has a lot of structures and one of the structures they have are called discs. There are essentially components between the vertebra, between the building blocks of the spine. And when we do this, the joints and the discs, they get pumped with fluid. And this fluid is what they need to be able to articulate themselves or to fully express themselves, or as we said, increase the range of motion. So when we're doing this, we're helping the body to create more space. And you might notice after a few rounds of this, that you can even come further I notice it with many clients after sessions, especially here in Thailand, when they get on their motorbike, they notice they can they can rotate and look what's going on behind them in traffic much easier. Or just looking over the shoulders when they're driving a car, and that's essentially a good sign of 
and you increase the range of motion in the back. And that is good because that will reduce the risk of injury if you have to do a rapid movement, such as turning your head in traffic to look at a vehicle or a person coming in towards you. So we can move over to the other side. And leg down, underline leg is straight, upper leg is bent, about the same line as your hip. And we gently just open up and cover about 10 times or so. I'm not counting meticulously on this one. I'm just following the flow. Maybe I do 10 on one side, 12 on the other one. That is fine. Work mostly on the side where you feel stiff. Continue to work on both sides. If you're stiff somewhere, you always want to start with that side because that will help you determine how to balance your body out. Meaning when that side becomes more flexible, it will be easier for you to start to feel where you need to work to increase mobility as a next stop in your body. Okay, so we warmed up the hips, we warmed up the knees, the lower back, the upper back a little bit. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna start to integrate these movements. Place one hand in uh, underneath my armpit, the other hand underneath the other armpit. And we're gonna combine the movements. Legs together, legs come over towards one side. And before I do that, I actually want to start. Let me start with the head first. So, the eyes, imagine you're following the figure. Your eyes are gonna go all the way over to your peripheral end of your view. And then you're gonna come back to center without moving your head first. And then the eyes are gonna come all the way to the end of the peripheral center. And it's gonna go side to side like this. Eyes are connected to the nervous system that has a lot to do with balance. So this is a way to start warming up the nervous system, opening up the joints of the body, and then we're gonna rotate our head all the way down, all the way down to the other side. And this is a way to work, warm up the neck and the nervous system. And now we're going to continue so my eyes go as far as we can, like I'm trying to look at someone without looking at them directly. I rotate my head when I need to spin more, and I rotate my upper body. The legs are going to follow. I'm going to lift my head off the ground, and I'm going to try to look over my shoulder. Now from here, my eyes are going to come to the left. I'm going to rotate back, looking over my shoulder, and then try to let the head here the whole moment. Everything else stays eyes and head first. I'm going to do a few rounds of this, going side to side. This is a full body spinal twist, and it will warm up a lot of joints in your body, and it will also teach your body how these joints are talking to each other. Do you feel a stop? This is great for sports, for environment, or simply the role of being a human being in a modern society. Good. So from here, let's come up to a seated position. If you can sit cross-legged, you can do that. If not, let's do a little exercise to open up the hips so we can move towards a cross-legged position. So, bring your hands down, both feet on the ground. And we're gonna do something called shin box. Then we create like a box using one shin. So my uh, chest is pointing towards you, coming down towards one side. I go side to side. I'm working with internal rotation of the hip. 
That's something that we don't do too much in everyday life. Usually, I am generalizing now due to the city, cars, motorbikes, uh, bus, trains, trams, cabs, grabs. And so this is a nice way to start opening up your hips and preparing the body for other movements. From here, I can actually bring this hand all the way over, rotate my head, and I get a nice little spine like this. So start with your eyes, eyes come over your shoulder, all the way back, hands over, bring over, other hand, continue to rotate my head, all the way over to the other side. Eyes come over your shoulders, This is too heavy, you can always bring your hands a bit further back and we can focus on this one. We don't have to move over our hands and do anything other from there. We just go gently right to side. Okay. From here, just relax. Move your toes up and down a little bit or your hands close together, like this. Maybe it looks like this for you. If you can't straighten the leg, that is fine too. You can hold behind your knees as a little bit of support. Feet side to side, warming up the ankles. And then do some circles. And even bring them together. And some circles in the other direction. Up and down with legs. And shaking this a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> so from here, you can sit cross-legged or like this, or this, or half, or if you put a pillow underneath the buttocks to get a little bit more height. Whatever works for you. From here, we're gonna end working a little bit with our wrists, elbows, and shoulders. I'm gonna bring my hands together, interlace the fingers like so. Do a little bit of a circle. Warm up the wrists. And then go the other way around. The last movement for today. You can imagine we're holding a hot cup of tea. Obviously, if you hold a hot cup of tea, you know, if you spill it on you, you're gonna have injure yourself and you might even burn yourself. So, the palm essentially wants to fa face upwards towards the ceiling. I'm gonna move towards my pinky finger side. What does that mean? So, it's gonna go in, like so, elbow comes out around and extend my arm and then I'm going to bring the hand over my head and back down. Come in, elbow out, hand comes in and bring it over my head. I might have spilled a few drops but I am resilient. Okay, and then we try with the other hand. So, elbow up, hand comes in. Elbow up, hand comes in. Extend. Now, bend your elbow. Bring your elbow towards your face. Try to bring it over your head. And come back down. Elbow up, hand out. Elbow and hand in over your head. And relax. So this was a little routine to warm up the lower back, hips, knees, ankles, wrists, elbows, shoulders, the whole spine essentially. And as I mentioned in the beginning, you can do it in the beginning of your day, at the end of your day, or anytime you feel like during the day. 
it's nice because it will connect your body, it will open up, you will feel the joints opening up a little bit more, the circulation in your body, and it just feels nicer. You able to do the things that you do for a longer period of time without having aches or pain restricting you from sitting down or doing a task for a longer period of time. So if you like this video, we would really uh, appreciate if you uh, subscribe it and like and that way you will also get to get more feedback and get more videos like this as we post uh, going in place. Thank you very much.